Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Two, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Your success is a deep threat to those who held you back. They're afraid of seeing you get all God has for you. Let's get right into it. Your success is a deep threat. There are those who want to see people become successful. And then there are those who don't want to see anybody do anything because they're afraid of what it's going to have to be like and feel like to see that person get their shine on. There are some people that just shine a little too bright for the liking of others, even though they themselves have that same ability to shine just as bright or brighter. Make it make sense. Sad thing is, it doesn't, and it never will. But they're going to have to see you shine regardless. They're going to have to see you be successful regardless of whether it brings joy to them or it brings tear, you know, whether it brings tears of joy or whether it brings tears of sadness. They're going to have to see you live your life in the way that God intended because you're here for a reason. We're all here for a reason. People who realize that only people who realize they're here for a specific reason, they know that there's only a certain amount of time for them to do what they need to do. And then they're out of here. And that's just life, period. And that's why you're not the type of person that plays with life. You're the type of person that sees what they need to do and you're going to go out and do it. And if not, now's your time. You need to seize the moment. You need to seize the moment because you don't know how much time you're going to be given. You got to seize the moment. And when you already don't play with life, when you already are the type of person that seizes the moment, there are going to be people who want to try to get in the way of what God has planned for you because it's going to sicken them. It's going to make them sick to their stomach. It's going to hurt them to see you succeed. And that's why your success is a deep threat. All right. Your success is a deep threat. People are having meetings about how successful you're about to become. People are having group chats on what you're doing with your life and where it may take you, where you may go because of it. And they're worried sick because they're going to have to see somebody succeed. They may, unfortunately, have to see somebody do better than them. And there are people who want to see you do well, just not better than them. When people start to do better than other people, if that person is not healed and 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 uh, mentally mature and things like that, and if this, if this person is a hater, they're going to get anxiety. When people become successful around other people who are haters, it gives them anxiety. Because they're not doing anything in their life. They don't have anything to fall back on in their mind and be like, okay, I got something going on. I'm doing something. I'm creating something for my life. I'm making something happen for me in my life. But instead, there are people who are too, or who are too worried about other people. This is what he's got going on. This is what she's got going on. And because you're causing them that anxiety, it's not that it's, it's, it's like they legitimately have to stop it. They have to stop it because it's, it's really causing them to feel some type of way. You're, you're making them feel some type of way. It's not just the fact that they're hating. That's a part of it. But they're also actually feeling some type of way. Like you're causing them some type of stress, some anxiety, and they want to put an end to that. And when, you, when they're able to stop you, they get a sigh of relief. They get a, ah, whew, all right. We don't have to worry about her reaching her goals anymore. She ain't going to make us look bad. We ain't got to worry about him becoming successful anymore. Whew, all right, we're, we're okay. We ain't got to worry about him becoming manager. He's going to be mopping floors and making fries and burgers like the rest of us. He's not going to be in charge of us. Whew, oh, good Lord. Okay, all right. Whew, I was worried about that because he works too hard. I don't want to work that hard. 
I just want to come here, BS, talk on my phone, and let him do all the work. I didn't know all that, all him doing all the work was going to make him become a manager. I didn't know that. I didn't know all the late hours that she put in when we all left, she was going to end up uh, supervising all of us. I didn't know that. Well, guess what? That's what's going to happen. You're going to be supervising them. You're going to be their manager. You're going to make them sick to their stomach with your success. You're going to own that company. You're going to be able to run that business uh, easily and effortlessly despite all the things that happen. It may not be perfect, but you're still going to be able to run it. It's still going to be uh, 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 something that's going to be able to happen and prosper you, and you're going to flourish because of it. And they're afraid because of it. They're afraid of seeing what God has for you. You are obedient. You are a good person. You you repay good for you repay good for evil. You you give out good. You set out good. You send out good energy into the universe. You you want you're not doing what you're doing for selfish gain, for selfish reasons. You want to be able to help yourself and that way you want to be able to bless and help other people. That's why your success is a deep threat. Because they know you're going to be able to lend out a helping hand and help other people and be the type of person that you were put here to be. The philanthropist that you were put here to be. You don't just want to become rich just to enjoy yourself and become successful and drive nice cars. That's a part of it. People don't just want success to be able to go wherever they want, do whatever they want, be whatever they want. That's a part of it. But that's not all of it. You want to see other people be able to do the same thing. That's what brings true joy to a person is to be able to see other people who are like them be able to rise up and succeed. And that's why your success is a deep threat, because they know that once you become successful, once you reach a certain level in life, you're going to be able to do the things that you want to do. You're going to be out here enjoying yourself. Your peace is a deep threat. Your joy is a deep threat. Your happiness is a deep threat. Because success is going to bring all those things, not that you're and because they see that you're already happy, not that if you're not happy, your success is going to bring that to you. But if you're already a happy person, if you're already someone who feels good, if you're already successful in your own being, just because you're able to wake up and, and brush your shoulder off and take on the day. You see that as success. Wait till you actually become successful. Wait till you actually do get that car. Wait till you actually do get that house. Wait till you actually do get to live the lifestyle that you always wanted to. Just wait. They're going to be turning the other direction. They're going to be turning the other cheek and not for because they, well, it is going to be because they got hit. They're going to be turning the other cheek because they got hit with a reality check. Reality check. Reality check. And they're not going to be able to cash that one. Only if they use you as an example, as a template. And, you know, and that's what's burning some people up inside. The fact that it's not them. They're going to have to use you as a template. They're going to have to use you as a, a schematic. They're going to have to use you as a formula, a plan. They're going to have to use you as their modus operandi. They don't want to be inspired by you. They don't want to be motivated by you, some of them. But you're the one. You were the one that was chosen. That's why they wanted to hold you back. They didn't want to have to use you as an example. They didn't want to have to see you get your shine on. They didn't want to have to see you be successful all up in their face. They didn't want to have to see that. And people at your job didn't want to see you become the manager. And people at your job didn't want, to, didn't want you to be the supervisor. They didn't want to have to take directions from you. They didn't want to have to come in and see you in that office chair sitting down while they over there uh, uh doing what they have to do, like they're supposed to do, like they would be doing even if it wasn't you that was the manager or the supervisor or the, or the person that's in charge, the head person, the head man, head woman of the organization. Well, guess what? That's what they're going to have to see. They're the people in your neighborhood, people in other places that didn't want to see you do anything, other facets of your life that didn't want to see you overpower them in the ranks of success. It's going to happen. There are some people who were preying on your downfall that were extremely close to you. And that's why your success is a deep threat, because they're going to feel it the most. You know who didn't want to see you become anything. You know who didn't want to see you rise above their negative treatment and how they feel about you, how they feel towards you. Well, guess what? They still want they go at all they put you through. 
all they put you through, you still made it. You still decided to not give up. You still decided to move forward with those goals and dreams. No matter how bad they said it was, no matter how, how bad they said you were, no matter how terrible of a job they said you did. You took all that and you molded that into, yes, I can. And that's why your success is a deep threat. Because you got some firepower behind you. You got you got you got some some energy behind you. You you got some motivation behind you. You got some some anger, some some pent up rage behind you. And you took it and molded it and shaped it in, in a positive way. You took it and, and turned it into something that was going to propel you. You turned it into a launching pad. And that's why your success is a deep threat. They never they thought you would never, ever, ever be the one. They didn't expect you. They tried to hold you back, though. They definitely tried to hold you back, though. They saw something, but they didn't say didn't expect to see this. And you know what it is. You know what it is because you're the one who wakes up with it every single day. And that's why you got to do something with it. And you can't waste time and you must seize the moment. You must seize the day as a new opportunity. Every single day, you got to see the day as an opportunity because you had people trying to hold you back. You got to do something with that. They weren't holding you back for no reason. They weren't trying to put you down for no reason. They didn't fire you for no reason, for no reason. It's something that you have and you got to do something with it every single day. You cannot waste time because once you start, once you even start to get to where you got to go, once you start to start to see how things are going to work out for you, you're going to be able to see, yo, God got something for me and they didn't want me to get it. God got something for you. They just didn't want you to get it. They don't want you to receive it. They don't want you to be the one who has it. They don't want you to be the one who can reach out and grab it. But it's already yours. What God has for you is for you. They may try to delay you. They may try to hold you back. They may cause you to have to wait. They may cause your situation to be on buffer for a minute. But guess what? During that buffering process, during that waiting process, during that process, of that, that uh, the time they tried to hold you back, all you were doing was honing your craft. All you were doing was getting better. All you were doing was getting more prepared. All you were doing was getting getting uh, uh, more stronger, more better. Most tough times turn people into bitter people. Most people, because of suffering extreme bitterness, now they become extremely bitter. All that did was make you even greater of a person. All it did was make you even greater of an individual. You're more tougher and stronger because of that. They weren't able to, to, to weaken you. All they did was toughen you up because you have true inner strength. You're strong. All they did was toughen you up. That's all they did. They tried, they tried to, to force you back. They tried to hold you back. They tried to pull you back. Arrows get pulled back. They tried to waste your time. They tried to waste your time, but all they did was give you more time to sit and think, to sit and make yourself better. They thought that they would be able to stop you because they were able to put a stop on you. Like one of those cars you used to play with as a child. You pull it back, you pull it back, you pull it back, you pull it back, you pull it back. And you ever uh, and got curious because you done pulled it back already the amount of times. And you're like, I wonder what happens if I keep pulling it back and pulling it back and pulling it back. And you pulled it back to the point to where you thought you broke it. And when you let it go, that car was out of here. That's you. They thought they broke you from holding you back and pulling you back. And then when they let you go, you was gone. You're going to be gone. All the holding back, all the pulling back, you're going to be gone because they thought they broke you, but you can't be broken. They didn't make you and they can't break you. What they gave, what, what, what you have, they didn't give it to you. The world didn't give it to you and the world can't take it away and neither can they. They thought they could, but they couldn't. And that's why your success is a deep threat. You're going to cause some injuries. You're going to cause some deep injuries in their mind. You're going to cause them to have brain damage. You're about to be so successful. They're going to have to see it. 
They're the ones suffering from possibility blindness. They're the ones from suffering from I can't itis. They're the ones suffering from it's not going to work out. You said you you said screw all of that. I'm going after what I want. Proving peace when you prove some people wrong, it causes them it causes them to to feel terrible. When you prove some people wrong, it caught that that the fact that they have to be wrong and sit with that and deal with that and live with that. It eats them up inside. It tears them up inside. It causes them to have emotional damage. It really causes them some type of frustration, some type of pain. Their anger starts to rise up. Frustration starts to rise up. Everything you felt when these people were holding you back, everything you felt when they were trying to stop you, that was their, that was their energy being projected onto you. All that anger and rage and, and all that being mad because you had people in your way. You had people that were trying to get in the way. That's how they felt just seeing you work. That's how they felt just seeing you uh, do your best. That's how they felt just seeing you perform. That's how they felt just seeing you try. Imagine when you actually get to do what you were put here to do. Imagine that. Imagine how they're going to feel when you actually get to do what you was put here to do. How you think they're going to feel then? It's going to be a system overload, system meltdown, system is that you're going to crash the system. They're going to try to turn on and you're just going to see the little dots on the screen. You're going to, you're going to see the company logo of the product on the screen. Telling you, you need to return this and give us some more money because this is broke. This ain't working right. All the the anger and everything you felt, I'm telling you, everything you felt when these people were in the way, holding you back, trying to make you feel like you was nothing. All they had, all they gotta do is just get out my way. That doesn't happen when you when you're working towards success. People just ain't gonna get out the way. They're gonna see you working towards becoming successful and they're gonna say, Oh, I gotta stop this. I gotta put my I gotta put my 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 negative hand, my evil hand in this some way, somehow. I gotta I gotta get it, I gotta put a hand in this. I gotta get a hand in this. So guess what? It was just a projection. That's how they felt. And they're gonna feel three times as bad when you and three times as mad and three times as sad when you actually get to live it up, when you actually get to enjoy yourself. When you actually get to take off, when you actually to get to to where your destination is, you know where you want to go. You know what you want to do. You know the type of life you want to have. There's some people out there that don't know what the heck they want, but they know they want to stop you, though. They don't know what the heck they want, but they know they don't want you to make it, though. They don't know what the heck they want. And they know they want to not see you get yours. They don't know what they want, but they don't want to see you with yours, though. We all got something out there for us. But the people who are too concerned trying to get in the way of others, they're not going to be able to see it for themselves because they can't get past the fact that other people are going to be getting where they're trying to go because they're going there, because they're, they want to be there, because they want to get there. You're not just sitting around hoping and dreaming. You're putting in some action behind your hopes and dreams. You understand faith without works is dead. That's probably something that stuck out to you your whole entire life. Yo, faith without works is dead, man. I got this faith. And I, got, I got to have these works behind it. I got this dream. I got to put some work behind it. Got these goals. I, I, I got to reach them. It's something in me that I got to reach them. I have to. It's something in me that won't allow me not to work on myself. It's something in me that won't allow me to not self-improve. I have to do this. They And just like, just like how you felt like that, they felt that they had to get in the way. They felt that they had to stop you. And the fact you didn't let them do it, your success is a deep threat. You are a deep threat. If you can overcome them, if you can overcome that, they got to watch you do anything. And now they realize that the part they played was only to make you better. All, all the, the stops they tried to put in your life is only going to prepare you for everything else you're going to have to face. 
they were put there for a reason. And the fact that you didn't give up, it gave you, it gave your faith muscles. It gave you mental muscles. It gave you mental toughness. You got mental muscles. You're mentally strong now because of all you had to go through. And now you don't see anything being able to get in your way and knock you off your path. Now you don't see anything being able to get in your way and stop you from reaching your destiny, stop you from reaching your goal. You don't see that as a reality for yourself. Okay, this is a, a problem. This is a challenge. I'm going to overcome this. I'm going to push back. I'm going to fight back for what's mine. I've already gotten here. <clears throat> I'm not, I've already worked my way all the way up to here. May not look like much to anybody else. May not be nothing to anybody else. May still be beneath where I'm supposed to be. But guess what? I don't work my way up to right here. I don't had to get through some things to get right here. I don't. I don't overcame some stuff to get right here. My energy done changed. I'm coming. I'm coming with. I'm coming different now. I'm a whole different type of person because I had to, what I had to go through, but for the better. And that's why your success is a deep threat. People are afraid of you now. They're afraid. They were afraid of what you were going to become, but now they're afraid of what you became. They're afraid of what you're becoming. They're scared. They're like, all oh, stuff. He done figured it out. All oh, stuff. She done figured it out. She done, she knows who she is. He knows who he is. And you always felt that there was something about you. That there's something about you the whole entire time. You always felt that there was something about you. You always knew it. You always knew that there was something with you. You always knew that there was something that, that you were supposed to be doing. Something that was going to change for you. Something that you were going to have to do. Or something that you were going to have to, to be in life. You always knew that. You always felt that. Always, everywhere you go, people looking at you different, treating you different. You wonder why. Now you know why. It's because you was put here to do something. And that's why you got to seize the moment. You got to seize the day. You got you to gotta start to do some seizing around here. You got to take each day and appreciate it and do something with it. Because your success is a deep threat. You can't let, you cannot let what you have go to waste. It'd be your own fault. It'd be your own problem. How dare you go through all that and just think it was for nothing. You didn't go through all that for nothing. You didn't go through all that for no reason. You went through all that to give you the strength to go further. So that way, when other things happen, when other problems arise, when other things you have to face, other things you have to go through, try to get in the way, you're going to be able to step and stump on that and trample on it. Man, this ain't nothing. Get out the way. Oh, that's what you're trying to do? Oh, I done been through that already. Man, I had to deal with five people like you before. Oh, I done had to deal with this situation before. God got me through this last time. He's going to get me through this this time. <laughs> what do people say? Stomp. You're going to be stomping and you gonna, you're a big stepper. You're going to be stepping on all, the, all everything in the way. You're going to be stepping on it. You're going to be stepping down on everything in the way. You're going to be running down, running down on everything. Come here. You're going to be running down on everything in the way. The situation and the things that you went through, it done turned you into a savage. You're in savage beast mode. You done, you done unlocked a new character <laughs> in you, just like, it, just like in the video games. And life is like a video game. You done unlocked a whole new character in you. All the levels you passed, all the levels you done went through and won, and, and, and all the people you done beat to get to where you're at mentally, you know, unlock the new character. You're someone different because you allowed your circumstances and the things you went through to change you for the better. You done unlocked a new character. That's why they're not looking at you the same anymore. That's why your success is a deep threat. You're not the same person that you used to be. That person is gone. You're somebody new and somebody totally different. And that's why it is time for you to act brand new, not from an egotistical point of view, 
but from a point of view of you made it and you're not going to take no stuff. You, you, you fighting for what's yours. You, 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 you when you look out into the world, you got to take what's yours because nobody's going to give it to you. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. All right. Your success is a deep threat. I'd like to thank you. I'll see you in the next video. We out.